for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Rashawn Melvin. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Right after the turnover to come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. From the 25 on second down, Stafford. And this is caught. At the end, and he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown, and the Lions have taken the lead. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded at the two. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. The first carry for the legend, it's Bo Jackson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, it's Ryan. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. That second down play nets a minus four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off by Rashawn Melvin. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. They begin the drive to Johnson. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. Following the fumble recovery, it's Ryan. And an alley to run. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian Kirk, 52 yards, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, Ryan. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Knocking it away there defensively, Justin Coleman. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Throwing again, Ryan. And Rudolph has it left side. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Ryan now, six of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. They run on first down with Jackson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try to keep a defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This would be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Here's Ryan. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back in the 32. Trey Flowers drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Lions will take over. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 right at the 30. They toss it out right to Johnson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Stafford on first down. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Earlier, we mentioned the Madden Classic Championship. We also want to remind you that registration is underway for the opportunity to represent your favorite NFL club in the Madden NFL Club. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off near the 26. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. The end result, 21 yards. They'll try and run for on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to regain the lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead is now 21-14. This will be taken in at the one. And it'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And now here is another interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Caught right side, Tate. Golden Tate's going to go. Touchdown, Detroit. Golden Tate, 48 yards. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Prater for the extra point, and a lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is fielded at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to... And my goodness, another interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. On second down, Johnson. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Flush to his right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things that's gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. Christian Kirk, deep to return it. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumble snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this first half of play. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. From the 29, Stafford, and that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Now Stafford. A bullet throw, but incomplete. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. Let's go. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Rashawn Melvin. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a